Well, uh, one night when I uh, was living in Reading, I got off work, work at a restaurant, and like any other 23-year-old, I have a fifth meal and about 10, 30 at night, and I uh, went over to a grocery store to go get some donuts. And I was walking in, um, I was passing by the cash register, and this lady was paying for her groceries, and I saw that she had hearing aids, and I thought, it's always a green light when you see crutches, people in wheelchairs, hearing aids. Just go up and ask me if you pray for him. So I approached the lady, asked her, hey, can I pray for you really quick? And she's like, oh, that would be nice. And then she starts leaving. I'm like, no, 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 like right now, can I pray for you? And she's like, okay, why not? And I say, hey, why don't you just take out your hearing aids so we can see if God does anything. We'll know, we can see a difference right away. And so she takes out her hearing aids. We begin to pray for her. And the cash register girl, the cashier lady, she's watching the whole thing, you know, unfold. And uh, we begin to pray for her. And I said, okay, I'm going to take a couple steps back. You just repeat after me if you could hear me. And so, you know, she's, you know, facing the other direction, and I'm taking steps back, like, hello, my name's Chad, my favorite food's pizza and donuts. And she's repeating this till I get about 25 feet away, and she realizes that she has full hearing. She actually has better hearing than the cashier has. And the cashier is, like, in her late, you know, teens, early 20s. And so she starts crying because her ears opened up. She was 90% deaf in one ear, 80% deaf in the other. And the cashier lady is crying as well. And suddenly, right when that happens, I just feel this wind on the back of my neck. And I get downloaded with all these words of knowledge of what God wants to do in the grocery store. And, you know, I didn't have this. I was just going in there hungry. I didn't have this before. And so I go to the cashier. And I say, this is totally God. This isn't me. I mean, God just totally, you know, opened this girl's ears. But God wants to do more in this grocery store. Is it all right if I get on the intercom and just share, you know, and, and uh, call out some words of knowledge? And she's all, yeah. So she shows me how to use it. I say, attention all shoppers. You know, God is in the building. And, uh, and I begin to just tell what God's doing. And I had a lady that got healed. She shared uh, what happened to her. And so I just started calling out words of knowledge. said, come to check out 10. Um, people started gathering around, about 20, 25 people. And it was amazing. And this one lady came with a motorized car and said, do you think God could really heal me? And I said, of course God can heal you. He's the healer. So I began to just, just explain a little bit about the gospel, about healing, signs and wonders. And then I had the lady that just got healed from her uh, ears pray with me. And I said, this is, you know, Matthew 10, 7, and 8. You know, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The, the sick get healed. The dead get raised. Freely receive, and freely give. And it was her time to, to give away the kingdom when she just received it earlier. So we began to pray uh, together, and she, I asked the lady in the motorized cart, she uh, was getting prayer for her hip. She is going in for hip replacement surgery. And she moves her hip a little bit, and she goes, <gasps> and I was thinking, oh my gosh, like, is she in pain? And, I, and that's what I'm thinking in my head, and I asked her, what's going on? And she's like, that used to hurt before. And I said, okay, we'll try to do something else. So, so she gets up. She begins to walk and then go into this little jog. She begins to scream out, Jesus has just healed me. Jesus has just healed me. The whole place goes crazy. They all start like, you know, hooting and hollering. I mean, this isn't like a church. This isn't checkout aisle 10. And this guy in the back starts pushing people. And I'm thinking this guy is coming to like beat me up. He has a problem with this. I don't know. So he, and he's shaking his like fist at me. And he gets up to me, and I'm, like, getting ready to defend myself. And he says, my, my wrist, I have carpal tunnel on my wrist. I've had it for two years. Will you please pray for me? And I said, of course. And I said, you know, while I'm praying for you, why don't you just move it around just to see if something, you know, shifts or changes. He's moving around. He goes, oh, my gosh, they're on fire. They're on fire. I'm like, well, that's good. They're, you know, heat's a good thing. And so he's like, oh, my gosh, there's no more pain. He starts crying. And he begins to explain to me that he plays the piano, he teaches, and he performs, and that's how he makes his money. And he's been in total pain doing this. And now they don't hurt anymore. And he was coming into the grocery store tonight saying, wouldn't it be great if all the pain in my wrist left today? And so I decided, hey, you know, the, the kingdom just showed up. It would be a good idea to introduce the king. And so I just told everybody, you know, Jesus didn't just die on the cross for these people to get healed, but to have a personal relationship with, with you and that you could uh, be best friends with the creator of the universe. And just gave a real simple gospel message, and I said, who wants that? Who wants to be best friends with the creator of the universe? And people's hands just came up, and I just led them to the Lord, prayed for them, and I walked out on cloud nine for getting my donuts. But it was a fun night.